Just like in the profile page, in the settings sections, you will find many interesting options to configure your Losmo account. If you're a Losmo account owner, you will first find the organization section where you will see all members of your organization and their role, which you can easily modify here. You will also see all sub organizations and you will be able to add new members by clicking on the add member button. Here, you can specify the role of that user. If you're unsure about which role to choose, be sure to see in our academy the article that covers the different user types and their privileges. You must specify the name that they will be identified with and the email address that they will use to log on to the Lossmo platform. You may optionally specify a sub-organization. When you add a user to a sub-organization, they will only be able to see other users from that same sub-organization. After you click on Add Member, they will receive an invitation email that they can use to finish setting up their account. The next section is the Groups section, where you can arrange users into logical sets which can be used for access management or general organization. Note that every sub-organization will automatically have a corresponding group. You can also create your own plugin by adding and selecting the needed data in this plugin section. Consult our developer documentation to get you started on plugin creation. In the Alerts channel section, you can manage the various destinations that can be used to send alerts to. The last section on the left side menu gives elite and enterprise users the possibility to white label the Losmo platform to fit with the theme of your company. Now that we know where to find the general settings of your account, in the next section we'll see how to bring data into your account.